I'm here with uh, Dublin Senior Camogie Manager Adrian O'Sullivan. Adrian, uh, uh, a narrow, tough loss out there today. Yeah, uh, give us your assessment of the game. Yeah, tight margins, I suppose. Um, we just said there to the players at the second water break, we were we were heading for a quarter final, and 15 minutes later, we're heading into a relegation dogfight. So, look at elite sports division one. That they're they're the tight margins, you know. And look, we were well aware of the threat that Laffley were going to bring with, with Kay Kinney and Sarah Harding, Grain Egan, and I suppose ultimately they, they slipped in for four goals, which is disappointing, you know. But um, look, there's no excuses on our part. It's like when you're when you're one twelve to one five up after after 40, 45 minutes, whatever it was, you have to be winning these games. And look, the players are disappointed. I'd be I'd be very disappointed myself if they weren't going away. Um, but look, it's it's something we have to address. I suppose they went the whole of last year without winning a game, and you know we kind of maybe saw the white line there and and hit the brakes. So it's just it's just trying to maybe instill that winning mentality that we have to do. You can see there, uh, for 40, 45 minutes of the game, we played played exceptional stuff, you know. So it's I don't think it's a question of talent. It's just uh, we need to squeeze a win out of somewhere. I think it bring great confidence to the group, you know. And you think it's just that it, that that's what's missing, just the mental, that that sort of mental part of, of getting over the line and getting that win under the belt. Yeah, definitely. Look, I've <laughs> been coaching for a long time. I've been, I've been lucky. I've been involved with some very good teams. I've also come in with teams at, at the start of the journey whereby maybe they haven't won in a while. And you know, sometimes you just need a fluky win or to, to to just barely get over the line, and it can just take that kind of the kind of the noose off the neck or the weight off the neck a little bit. You know, so look, we're not going to panic. We'll assess it, and we have to learn from it. We've no choice to learn from it, and. I uh, haven't seen the results of today's games now, but we are going to be in a in a three-way playoff with uh, with two teams who've, who've been bottom of the other group. So it'll be either Tipper Watford or or Limerick or Clare, depending on who lost those games today, probably. And that's no easy task either. But look, that's sport, isn't it? You just have to take it on the chin, go home, switch off for the evening, watch it tomorrow, and, uh, and just drive on next week again, I suppose. And just taking sort of maybe a silver liner from today, it will give you some extra matches before you head into the championship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose <laughs> I like your positive attitude. Uh, they're not two games that we would have been hoping for, for sure. But um, look, you can see there today we have a very young side, you know, and likes of the coaches and Eve Gannon and and these guys. And look, yeah, the more games you get with them, the better. Um, I suppose if you'd have, if you'd have hit the stop button after the second water break, you'd say, geez, they've done some job with them in four weeks. But then it was a bit of a horror show for the last 13 or 14 minutes. So. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Tight margins, you know. Tight margins, very disappointing. I'm sure you can tell by the tone of my voice. Uh, very deflated, but look, they're, they're a savage group. And uh, look, we'll go back at it Wednesday night. There's a lot of big characters in that dressing room. They'll take it on the chin and they'll drive it on, I'm sure. Okay, Adrian, thanks very much. No problem. Thank you. Talk to you again.